back again. Was that hilarious or what? For those that are watching the aborted version, watch the aborted version of today's video. I hit the old uh, power button, evidently, and shut the whole thing off. So we're starting all over. Welcome to Success Story Saturday, February 24th, 2018. And I love the date of February 24th because that's the birthday of my beautiful wife, Michelle. And my beautiful wife, Michelle, is feeling under the weather tonight, which is why it's just me alone in the car. Because we had to cancel the whole fancy dinner out at the fancy restaurant and all that kind of stuff. And we're bringing the party to Michelle. So I just came out here to grab some stuff. We've got the, uh, let's see if I can show this without turning off the entire. So here is the, uh, my beautiful. Huh, are we back again? Rosati's Pizza, reminiscent of the 15 years or so that we lived in Chicago. We've got the happy birthday, Michelle birthday cake. And we've got the, uh, the pink and purple type of flowers uh, that my beautiful wife Michelle will love. Hello, Reuben. And uh, let's see if I can uh, turn the car on here. There we go. So we are now headed home to take... So I will end this quick. I almost forgot. I was just going to say goodbye and go have the party and wish my beautiful wife Michelle a happy birthday again and celebrate with her. But first, success story Saturday. Almost forgot, so I'll make it quick. So I don't get cut off for the 18th time here, including the first time where I cut off myself, but that's another story. So Mike and Stefan Sada are the birthday entrepreneurs because they started Paris's one and only Au Natural Nudist Restaurant. And that's the name of it, Au Natural. It's only been around a few months. They are uh, naturalists themselves, as they say, and they have a, a vegan menu because these are naturalists and they like the natural food apparently and the restaurant is off to a flying start uh they uh there's a bunch of business lessons in i'll try and get to them quickly hey phil great seeing you today um so one is a target market pick a target market. that's the wow strategy the first w the who pick a who that you want to do business with in this case they have what's known as affinity they feel they're part of them because they are naturalists, nudists, whatever you want to call it also, and they like vegan food, so why not open up a restaurant and invite other nudists who would like vegan food? So it wouldn't make much sense to invite naturalists and serve them all kinds of processed food that they wouldn't want to like. So that's the first lesson is your target market, you want to know everything about them, and then whatever they want, you give it to them. So... They're, according to the Sada brothers, there are over one and a half million naturalists that love walking around with no clothes on in France. And there are an additional two million more tourists that visit France every year who are also naturalists. So that's three and a half million potential patrons. And I think the restaurant seats like 40. So they're always packed. They're reservation only, of course. Then they get all their... Of course, the rules and the curtains are up and no one can see in from the street or any of that. But they, they really come in and they go into a locker room and put in all their clothes and their iPhones because no cameras or videos are allowed and, and all that. And they, they love the menu. It's reasonably priced and it's got 8.2 out of 10 stars on their customer reviews for the food and, of course, for the ambiance, if you like that kind of stuff. So they're off to a flying start. So they've identified a target who, and then they've made an irresistible offer. We're the only restaurant in all of Paris, they're right in the middle of Paris, that you can come and dine the way you like with no clothes on and eat food that you like that's all natural, vegan type of food. So that's how you do business and do it on a spectacular level. You are, they're one of a kind, they're the only restaurant of its kind, so these 3.5 million naturalists, and I predict, I, I'm, I'm guessing that there are some that are making a special trip just to Paris, because maybe they wanted to go to some of the nude beaches in the south of France, but they make a special trip up to Paris because they want to go dine out totally in the nude in an actual restaurant where the only people who have clothes on, by the way, are the waiters because that's some kind of health code violation if you had people handling the food that were naked or whatever and they get all kinds of things going on. The, supposedly the seat covers are disposable, so they, don't worry if you eat there. They, they switch those out after every meal and uh, that's enough, okay? Uh, some people might be eating right now. So that's it for Success Story Saturday. Hats off 
if I had a hat, to Mike and Stefan Sada. They were in the uh, insurance industry, and that must have not been going well, or maybe it went so well that they said, let's look for something to do, but they took their passion, this naturalist, nudist, and their passion for the vegan food, and they opened up a business, Entrepreneur Spirit. So people dine in their birthday suits on the birthday of my beautiful wife, Michelle. And that's it for Sex Story Saturday. Phil says, I wish they would hire me to name the menu items. Maybe they will. Give them a call. Shoot them an email. If you speak French especially, because they might not speak English too well, but it's France. French, they usually speak English especially since they, they made a point uh, in a couple of the things I was reading. They Oh, there's another lesson I missed. Thank you, Phil, for... Uh, delaying my signing off a little bit, so I remembered another lesson. Uh, but they, uh, since they talk about the tourist, it's likely they, they speak English, and people in, Fran in France uh, speak English fairly well. From what I hear, of course, I would not go there. I'm American, and so not really welcome in France or have any interest in anything to do with France. But I, I digress. The other lesson is the publicity. When they opened up, of course, they got tons of publicity because they are not only one of a kind, but they're one of a kind, something that's interesting and out of the usual and unordinary and breaking through all the clutter. There must be thousands and thousands and thousands of restaurants in Paris, many probably serving the exact same menu items, and probably none of those restaurants got the kind of publicity they're not, I'm not talking about them on my video halfway around the world, as these guys did because they found a niche. They opened a one-of-a-kind business to cater to a specific target who, and they make the irresistible offer. This is the only place you can come to dine with no clothes on and eat the food that you love. Lesson for all business owners, target marketing, and when you do something out of the ordinary, you can also capitalize and get a ton of publicity, and that had to get their restaurant off to a flying start, and it's packed all the time, and I wish them the best of success, as I wish all entrepreneurs tremendous success. Now, that's enough already. i got to get home. Pizza's getting lukewarm. Nothing really gets cold here in Arizona, of course, but... Uh, Enough of you guys. I can get back to my beautiful wife, Michelle, for her birthday. Hey, CJ, Phil, Ruben, anybody else watching live, anyone on the replay, hope you all have a fantastic success story Saturday as well. Check in tomorrow, as I always do, on Sunday Funday. And I'll be back Monday with another business lesson on Direct Mail Monday. Thanks for being here today, everyone. Over and out. Bye-bye.